Hi everyone, welcome to another technical video from Default Route UK. My name is Rich, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a quite old topic um, integrated routing and bridging, um, which was the successor to uh, concurrent uh, routing and bridging, which, uh, which was which was made legacy by the introduction of IRB. So let's just talk about CRB. So CRB, concurrent routing and bridging, that was um, that was brought in to allow a uh, an iOS device to uh, have a an interface in a bridged mode and an interface in a, in a routed mode or a routed mode. Okay, so you could have an IP address on one and then you could have a bridge uh, on the other. All right, uh, so that was CRB, and uh, it was quite it was it was good, it was good, but it was frustrating to some because they wanted to route and bridge on the same interface. So um, Cisco brought out IRB, which is integrated routing and bridging, and that allowed you to do bridging and routing on the same interface. All right, so we're going to talk about IRB today, and here's the basic topology I've got on the uh, on the old uh, on the on the lab environment. We've got four routers, one, two, three, and four, and you can see I've deliberately left uh, the the link between three and four out um, for two reasons. Number one, I didn't want to loop because we're not covering spanning tree today. We're going to do that in a different video. Um, and two, I wanted to demonstrate how we would get the BVI interface here to talk to the BVI interface there in the same subnet. So you see they're both 10, 0, 34 dot something where dot three is for R3 and dot four is for R4. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna show today how we can get uh, these these interfaces to operate in the same layer two sort of uh, uh, bridge. Yeah. Same it, as if it was a VLAN. So I mean, you know what when you look at a BVI, kind of think of it as a synonymous to so the virtual switch interface, which is a layer three interface on a switch, um, think of this in the same way. The BVI is a bridge virtual interface on a router. All right. So the BVI is, is part of IRB. All right. So the BVI is the bridge virtual interface, and we're going to cover that off um, as we go through the uh, demonstration. So let's just fire up this this environment. It'll take a few a few seconds to get started. So uh, let's just talk a little bit more about the BVI. So we're going to create a bridge group one. And we're going to use one because it's the easiest to start with. You can use you can use any number from between one and two fifty-five. To you, but we're going to start with bridge group one. And you see uh, the BVI, the bridge virtual interface one. Uh, that one and that one match. All right. So if you're talking about a, a bridge virtual interface in bridge group two, it'd be BVI two. Bridge group thirty, BVI thirty. You can't change that number to suit your mood. You got to have it with the same as the as the bridge group uh, number. All right. Uh, the IP address that could be different. So between R1 and R3 is going to be no IP running. R1 and R2 no IP running. R2 and R4 no IP running. These are guys that are not going to be running any IP interfaces whatsoever. This is just going to be a bridged network. Um, R3 and R4 are only going to have the BVI interfaces here and here running with IP with layer three. All right. Let me um, let me get in now. These sh so these these should be completely fresh and vanilla. There should be any any config on any of these because uh, this is coming up. Um, with nothing, you can see no mirrors, nothing up my sleeve. Just let me, uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, so let's just uh, let's crack on here. Now, normally, what you do is you give it a host name, right? So let's just do that. Let's be uh, let's be sensible, so we know what we're talking about. Go uh, to your host name R two. T, whoops, T, host name R3, R3, yeah, R3, and finally R4. And conf T, host name R4. All right. So um, we're going to create a bridge group one. On, on each of these devices, everything has to have the same bridge group. So bridge, uh, actually, you know what? We'll, take, we'll, we'll set up bridging first, okay? So the first thing you need to do is tell it what type of bridging you're going to be implementing here. So we're going to be implementing IRB, all right? And there's the old concurrent routing and bridging that we talked about earlier. So that's the old one. This is the new one. So integrated routing and bridging allows you to do routing and bridging on the same interface. Concurrent, you can't do them on the same interface. Okay, so we're going to do bridge IRB. That was the command. And then we do bridge one, because that's the bridge group we're going to do. And uh, we, we're going to be bridging protocol IEEE, which is the uh, Ethernet standard, all right? You can the 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 deck and IBM ones are a legacy. I've never come across those. The VLAN bridge is for you guys when you create a VLAN. Um, so you can do VLANs on on a on a router, can't you? Yeah. You can go into VLAN database and you can create a VLAN and you can give it a name. Yeah. When you when you create that VLAN, um, 
you can bridge that VLAN using uh, the bridge one protocol VLAN bridge uh, uh, configuration command. All right, but we're not going to be we're not going to be bridging the uh, VLANs. We're just going to be bridging the uh, Ethernet. So bridge one protocol IEEE is all we need. All right. So we're going to do that on every on every device. Let's go to R2. We say bridge IRB. We say bridge one protocol IEEE. Uh, three. We do bridge IRB. Oops, bridge pro bridge one protocol IEEE. You know what? We could just put this in text pad, but uh, I like to do things the hard way. Okay, so bridge one uh, protocol IEEE. Okay, great. So these are all these are all running that now. Let's just turn the interfaces on so we can start bringing this up. So let's do a new shot on that one. So uh, fast Ethernet one zero is the interface between R four and R two. All right. So R three is fast Ethernet one zero as well. Let's do a no shot there. R two is one zero and zero zero. And R one was two zero and one zero. Okay, so this interface, this interface, this, 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 and this are all now no shut, so everything should be up and running. And what because we configured this bridge one, this is now going to be running spanning tree across that bridge ID one. All right. So all of the uh, BPDUs and hellos and so on are now whizzing around here. So remember, we've not got a link between here and here, so there's no loop. Um, but someone's going to be the root, and uh, we can find out who that is just with normal spanning tree uh, commands. So let's just do a show span. Let's see who the daddy is. Who's the daddy? Oh, apparently we're the daddy on R4. Uh, let's see. I wasn't expecting that, actually. So let me just show span on here. Who's the... Uh, so I one thinks it's the uh, thinks it's the man actually. This it must still be uh, fluctuating. Yeah, well, let's just give it a sec because they all think they're the root, and that's obviously not right, is it? So this is all done now, and um, we've set up IRB. So we can go into R three and R four now and create these BVI interfaces. So let's do that. So in here, uh, in the configuration is basically interface BVI, and then you remember you give it the name of the bridge group. VI1, and then we give it the IP address. So 10.0.34.3 was the interface for R3, and it was 10.0.34.4. Uh, Oops, for R4. Let's just see that come up. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh, it's gone down again. Why has it gone down? What's your problem? Um, bridge one. We've not got a bridge bound to that. Let's have a look. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's down as well. So so the so let me just show you this. Um, let me see. Let me see. Do show bridge. So we've got no interfaces bound to bridge group one right now. Um, I must have forgotten to do that. So if we're going. So that's why the BVI interface is down. Let's do a do a show interface. Um, you see the BVI is down. Line protocol is down. The reason that's down is because the bridge group one isn't assigned to the interfaces, and actually that's probably why the spanner tree wasn't working. Think about it. So um, let's go into there now. We'll just do a bridge group one and assign the bridge group to the interface. I've probably not done that for any of these. Let me just show run int for show run int fast Ethernet one zero. Yeah, it's not running. <laughs> Idiot. So let's just do this now. So we did the we set up the bridge. We set up the bridge with the protocol. So so we did bridge IRB to so enable bridge IRB, right? And then we did bridge one protocol IEEE. Remember that? Well, the way you assign the bridge group to the interface is you go into the interface and then you do bridge group and then you give it the number. Okay. So now that interface is assigned to bridge group one, and uh, we've also got uh, where are we now? R one. So we just did that one, and now we've done that one, and then we're going to R two. And we go in, into that interface there. And we do bridge group one, and then uh, that one there, bridge group one. All right, so let's let's do spanning tree. Let's show spanning tree now, and then let's have a look at the difference. This should all be different now. There we go. So we're the root, and um, let's pick R three. Who do you think is the root? R three. R three thinks R one is the root. 
Okay, so now you can see there's a full end-to-end -end spanning tree BPD user running around. Uh, that's all fine. We create the BVI, and the BVI interface now should be up, showing it, uh, BVI one. And you can see it's up. It's got the IP address. Uh, that's all looking good. And um, we sent some packets out. We've not received anything yet, but that's that all looks like it's working. All right. So layer two's up. Layer three's up. Let's do a ping. Ping. 10.0.34.4, which is the IP address of the R4's BVI1 interface. And we get in uh, timeouts. And, um, you, you know, you think, you, you think you're done, and then you're not. And the, the, re the reason we get a timeout here is because R1 and R2 haven't got a BVI interface. Now, I, I, I know I said that I didn't need to create any more Layer 3 interfaces, and there was no other IP address on this topology. And you're absolutely right, and I was absolutely right. There is... You don't need to put the IP address on the interface, but you do need to create it. So if we create the BVI interface and just leave it like that, see that see the the interface comes up. There's no IP on it. It's just the interface. Do the same on this one. Don't need to do anything with it. Just have to have to have it up. Okay. Okay. So we're still getting timeouts. Still getting timeouts because um, the second step when we're creating the bridge is to enable the protocol to be routed in the bridge group. Yeah, so we can support a number of protocols on on iOS. Um, my my version here hasn't got IPX in it, but um, in the in the bad or Apple Talk in the bad old days you used to be able to run IPX, Apple Talk, CLNS, and IP. Well, it looks like they've cut it all out on this version for me, so I'm going to see LNS and IP. But I'm going to run IP anyway, so that's fine. So bridge group one, sorry, bridge one, uh, root or route IP is the keyword for me. So this means now I can take from B, I can take the IP address from the BVI group one, push that into bridge group one, and then it will run across across this layer two network here, and then be poking out again in R4. So the same on R4, we do bridge one uh, route IP. And that should be that. And there we go. And there we go, end to end. So so we've got the BVI one interface on R three, BVI interface on R four, and they are pushing packets across this bridged group um end to end. Alright, so that's the uh, technical video for today. A little bit rushed, a few little mistakes in there, but actually the troubleshooting was quite nice to see. So if you've got any questions, drop them uh, to me. Uh, you can say uh, email the uh, rich at defaultrootuk.com or, um, or drop onto the website and throw me some comments that way. That'll be fine. It'd be great to hear from you. So uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Thank you.